And to tell you about a big decision right now regarding reopening schools in Miami-Dade County. The school board has voted to start in-person learning next week. Local 10 News reporter Hatzel Vela is live with the change in plans. Hatzel. Well, Janice, the plan is to get kids back into the physical classroom on Monday on a staggered system. So starting from Monday, going all the way through Friday. The vote took place late last night and already criticism for the school board from some people who say they chose funding over safety. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed or nay. Motion carries unanimously. The vote was unanimous. The Miami-Dade School Board reversed course, moving up the reopening of brick and mortar schools by 10 days to October 5th. Here's the breakdown. On Monday, it's kids in pre-K through first grade, as well as ESC students on modified curriculum. On Wednesday, October 7th, all elementary students plus students in grades 6, 9, and 10 go back. And on Friday, October 9th, everyone else. This, as I said, has been one of the most difficult decisions we had to make because no matter what, some people are going to agree with it uh, and some people are going to oppose it. Some argue the superintendent and the board caved to political pressure from state government. Oh, it's tragic. It's tragic that they're playing political games uh, with our kids. In a recent letter, the education commissioner told the Miami-Dade School Board they had to stick to their original plan submitted and approved by the state to reopen the physical classroom October 5th. Much of the discussion revolved around threats from the state on losing millions of dollars of funding if Miami-Dade schools did not comply. Those are unsustainable levels of funding loss for our school system. So this morning while talking to the teachers union president, she's telling us they are urging all staff members, all teachers to go get tested for COVID-19 as a way, they say, to prevent the spread of the virus starting on Monday. For now, reporting live in Miami, I'm Hatzel Vela, Local 10 News. All right, Hatzel, thank you. And we have